The LFO is a low frequency oscillator, basically an inaudible signal that can affect the sound in a variety of ways. The LFO comes in a variety of waveforms, which are essentially patterns that produce different kinds of modulations. In chromophone, you can assign the LFO to a number of elements, like the pitch, or over here in the noise module, to the volume, frequency, and density of the noise. The easiest way to understand the LFO is to see how it actually affects the sound of a resonator. So over here is a slider. Uh, where the LFO affects the amount of gain on the resonator signal. So I'm going to drag this value to really make the modulation apparent. Uh, then I'm going to go down here and make sure that the LFO module is on, and I'm going to choose a waveform. I've got sine, triangle, square, random, and random ramp. I'm going to use the triangle. The rate knob determines the frequency of the modulation. So as I raise the frequency, the modulation sounds faster. And as I go the other direction, it gets slower. The delay knob determines if there's any delay until the modulation takes effect. The offset knob controls at what point in the waveform the modulation begins. This can affect whether it begins at the peak or the lowest point of the waveform. The width knob is relevant to the triangle and square waveforms. If you're on the triangle waveform, the knob in the middle will give you a triangle wave. <coughs> If you turn the knob all the way to the left, it produces a sawtooth waveform, starting at its lowest point, going up. And if you turn it the other direction, it's starting at its highest point, going down. With the square waveform, the wave is square when centered. When it's turned to the left, the positive part of the waveform gets shortened. And when it's turned to the right, the positive part of the waveform gets lengthened. So here are three examples of the LFO being used to provide detail and uniqueness to the sound. So here we have the sawtill instrument in which a sine wave LFO has been assigned to the volume knob of the noise module. And you'll be able to hear that very clearly. <laughs> If I turn this off and on, you can hear it even more. Um, you'll notice that the LFO sync button is on here, and this means that the frequency will match the BPM of your host sequencer. So here's an instrument called Sample and Hold and Noise, and here we have a random LFO which has been assigned to modulate the frequency and the density of the noise. And finally here we have scintillator strings. Here we have a square LFO which has been assigned to three knobs in the noise module, the volume, the frequency, and the density. I'll turn the LFO on and off so you can hear the difference. So the LFO is really a great creative tool um, to use to get some really interesting sounds out of the synth.